Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. So in today's video, we're going to talk about why I literally don't have any friends. Well, that's kind of changing now, but I'm going to share with you guys like some mini story times that happened in high school and university that I'm just like, eh, bye, with some people because there's weird people. And in this life, I've had mm, so much friends. Like, so, like, I can't, I can't even count how many friends I've had because I've just been very, like, well-known and just, like, active. So I was on a lot of sports teams, like, clubs and inside and out of, outside of school. I've been on sports teams and stuff. So I know, like, a lot of people. I had friends my whole life. And plus, I come from a like, family. So I have, like, so many siblings. So that's why I don't really care for friends as well because I just have so much. So that, that urge of having, like, friends all the time wasn't really, like, on my mind. Even though it's always good to have friends outside of your family. Yeah, I'm going to share some mini story times and I'm going to talk about why you should be like selective with your friendships and why I have been and I always will be. Anyways, so let's talk about this first one here. Oh, and we're going to take off my makeup too. So I have these Olay Cleansing Facial Daily Wipes. Ooh, did I say it perfectly this time? Um, they basically remove your makeup. I have like so many tutorials on my channel using these and explaining these. They're so good. They remove your makeup in two seconds. So okay, so... Let's start off with the story time. You guys have to tell me if I'm over exaggerating. Because you guys, you guys literally have to let me know in the comment section, was I in the wrong? Because I personally feel like I wasn't in the wrong because my friends, even though they're my friends, I literally explained the situation. They were like, I wouldn't even be that person's friend either. And like, so my friends were laughing at me. They're like, this is what happens when you hang out with waste people. And we tell you stop hanging out with waste people. Literally, oh my god, this happened to me because in university I was like, I need to make new friends type of vibe, right? Okay, so there's this girl in the university, right? <laughs> that I met through another set of friends, okay? So I instantly vibed with her once I met her. I would never think I would not be friends with her. I just clicked with her and I just saw her as someone that I would want in my life for a long time. And I never knew she she would have done this, to be honest. It just still doesn't make any sense. This girl, I invited to, uh, was it an engagement party of like one of my close friends? They were like family basically to me this girl i was like okay we're friends and stuff right we're all, we're in similar classes in uni we know each other outside of school we t so i was like oh she has to pass my house to get there anyway so might as well she drives me so i was like oh do you want to drive me type of vibe right and she's like yeah i'll pick you up da 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 whatever just make this story really short okay so the day comes and i see her in the morning i was like hey like are you still going she's like yeah i'm gonna pick you up around like three or four or something like that and i was like perfect let me start getting ready so I'm like checking her like snaps or Instagram stories and stuff and she's like with her friend or whatever and they're getting ready together Whatever it was taking snaps having a good time. I'm like eh 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 I'm gonna link up with them soon <laughs> Four o'clock comes right and I message this girl. She's not responding I message this girl again. She's not responding. I'm calling. I'm calling. I'm calling her. She's not responding. I said oh, complete. I'm like I'm not gonna end up going to this engagement party because this girl is not answering her phone and I don't know what's happening It's like around 530 at this point 536 and I was like, oh my god, the engagement party already started. Oh my god, like, I don't want to miss out on, like, everything, right? It's 536, and I'm calling the girl, I'm calling the girl. I'm like, why the BBC is this girl not answering her phone? She's not answering none of my texts, none of my calls, nothing, right? And then, so I have to call um, the sisters. I have to call my friend. So she was the sister of the sister that's getting in engaged. I hope that made sense. So I had to call her. I was like, bro, da 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 is not answering her phone. Is she there? She was like, yeah, what the hell? She's here, and I was like, she's supposed to be me up, right? So I'm mad at this point. And my friend was like, no way, what the hell? She's here, right? And then my friend was like, hold on, let me put her on the phone for you. Let me put her on the phone for you. So my friend went and put her on the phone, and I was like, girl, where the hell are you? I'm waiting for you, right? She's like, oh, let me come get you now. Oh my god, oh my god. I'm upset at this point because I'm like, how are you at the party without me? Like, I'm just like, right? And even like when she wasn't even answering around like the 5:30 like four o'clock you guys probably like oh you could have took an uber you could have just drove yourself you could have just like whatever there was other means of transportation that's not the point the whole point is that we planned and i mentally planned and everything like okay get ready by this time she's gonna pick me up we're all gonna go together i don't even want to go at this point because this girl like like broke my vibe broke my vibes i was so upset so she left and she came back for me she picked me up whatever we went to the party and then like she just cut so i was like okay how am i supposed to get home the sisters of the sister that was getting engaged at her engagement party dropped me home. They brought me home and dropped me home. Keep in mind, this was all done in the winter time, so I was not about taking a bus back to my yard. And not only that, I was just like, I'm, I don't want to take an Uber. I was so mad. I was like, this girl, I would never be her friend ever again. This, this is not even the juicy part. So this girl left me at the party, so I'm mad. I don't want to be her friend anymore. So I stopped talking to her, basically, because I was like, that's so shady. That's whack. Who plans something with someone and then leaves them and then goes to the party and leaves them? If I did not call my 
friend that time when she picked up i wouldn't have been at the party why would i still be friends with you i'm sorry i don't keep friendships like that if you wouldn't do i'd like to treat people the way that i would like to be treated and i would never not make plans with someone and leave them and go to the party without them that's so ultimate shady bye this one girl she's like oh like you can still be friends with her like in life you just have to be fake with people just be fake da, da, da. and i was like no i don't want that because i like having genuine friendships and real friendships so once i found out she wasn't real because i'm telling you my friends and would have picked me up when we plan stuff we all going out together same with me i wouldn't leave her and just go to the party i don't know who does that that's weird too i was in the mall and then I ended up going into the place that she works and I, I totally forgot that she works. So I'm going through like the clothes and stuff and I hear someone behind me like, hey, like, what's up? I forget how, what, what she said to me and I was like, looked at her and I turned back to the clothes and I was going back through the clothes. Yeah, I totally forget what she said, but she basically she was saying like, oh, you can't ignore me. You have to talk to me. Talk to me. She was well mad in the store. Like she was so upset. I never seen a grown person act like a little kid like that in a long time. And I was turned to her. I was like, I don't have to talk to you number one and number two like bye type of thing bye right me after what you did you think i'm really going to pre this girl bye anyway so this girl's like and everyone thinks they're just overreacting being extra about the whole situation and she's yelling this in the store she stormed off with her flipping swatty body like her body is so like she needs to tone up rude she has like a superiority to complex i noticed but that's like with a lot of people from like her type of culture and stuff she said it so loud that people started staring at us i was like is this girl dumb like are you dumb you're clearly dumb as i was going out to cash out i saw her again i was like let me tell you something okay i was like know who you're talking to know who you're talking to like this girl's a snitch so i wouldn't be able to like do anything i just have to like cuss her a little one too sometimes you just have to cuss people and cut stuff i was so mad for the rest of the day i had to like go call up my friends them and i had to tell them they're like yo you want me to ride out <laughs> <laughs> so basically I found out from that whole situation. There's a group of them I don't talk to. They're all they're all whack. You guys let me know down below in the comments if I was being extra. So you're telling me that if you made plans with someone and some person left you and went to the whole thing without you, would you not have feelings? Would you not be upset? Would you not be mad? Would you still be friends with that person? The person had you waiting for so long, they weren't answering their texts and picking oh I've read say that at the party she was saying that she couldn't pick she was getting no connection, which was a big lie. Because my phone was getting connection when I was there. Yeah, so I was just like, yeah, I can't keep friends like that. And that whole situation taught me that, like, the type of friendships that you should keep in life is that you should keep genuine friendships. Friends that are honest, that are genuine, that will do stuff for you. Um, just as you would do stuff for them. My friend was just like, yo. Like, they were just laughing at me. They are like, these whack girls that you meet in university. Literally, I have met some, like, weird friends. I have so many, like, university stories I can tell you guys. I have um, a lot, so I can do a story time. I'm very selective with my friends, okay? And I don't play around with friendships because once I consider you as a friend, I'm gonna consider you as you're basically family. So I would expect you to treat me like family. So you're gonna meet all my family, you're gonna come over to my house, you're gonna meet my parents, everything because that's how much I like you that I'm gonna actually make you meet all my sisters and everything like that. And guys, don't play around with friendships. Be selective, have like quality friends. I've noticed in my life that I only want quality friends because again, you're, the friends that you keep is a reflection of you and I'm going to talk about that few with another story time. Anyways, there's this other girl. Just know that she's South Asian. And I couldn't be friends with her because, guys, like, she was just racist towards black people. She was saying that how, like, oh, like, there's no such thing as, like, systematic discrimination and racism and all that. She's like, all black people have to do is just work harder and they'll be able to achieve what other people achieve. Like, they just need to work. They just need to work. Like, basically, she was implying that black people are just lazy and they complain. And that's why they don't get opportunities. There's no such thing as systematic racism. She was saying, like, how, like, black people can be racist, too. And if you're educated and you obviously know that most disadvantaged people in society cannot be racist when pe racism is a power system. It's a power structure. There's, like, literally scholarly articles written by scholars you guys just know this this is just straight facts right Re reverse racism is not a thing this is just obvious and the irony about it is she um i don't even care if they watch this to be honest the irony is that these people are becoming lawyers okay so imagine a black person having her as a lawyer representing have fun losing that case yeah i was just like yo i could not have you as a friend what the hell like being black is so important to me and like one of the main things so if you're racist you and i obviously would not connect and people need to understand that there's a lot of like anti-black south asian people but that's a literally a whole different like whole different video i could talk about so that i was like bye and then i obviously can't get along with like black people who don't like being black oh my gosh i haven't been taking off my makeup because i've been talking like i had friends in high school that i stopped talking to. i didn't stop talking to but i stopped hanging out with like i would talk to them while i was school but outside of school i was like i cut the leg ties because i was like all you want to do is smoke and drink your life away so much more to life and then i was just like i'm not into that and i don't even so why am I hanging out with you 
you know, because I don't smoke and drink, they thought that I was acting like I was better than them. And I was like, no, I'm not. I still like you as a person and as a friend, but I'm just not going to engage in those type of stuff. That's not my style. The majority of the stuff that they do, they literally just smoke and drink and sit down and listen to music and talk. But it's just boring to me. So the friends that I keep now, they're very honest. They're blunt. Even if I do something wrong, they'll literally cuss me off. I appreciate them because that means they're honest and they're comfortable enough to let me know when I've done something wrong or they don't like what I've done. And then when we have our different views and opinions, they're honest and they stick to their views and opinions and we still can be friends at the end of the day. I have had friends who stop being my friends. This is like in high school where because I was actually there was this one girl. She stopped being my friend because I was too blunt. I was too frank. And I feel like that's my personality. She was just like, I don't want to be your friend anymore. And I was just like, why? Just be my friend. But she stopped and all now we're still not friends. I don't really care. Oh, I also had like a friend, but she, I had to stop being her friend because she was the fakest girl I ever met in my whole entire life. Like Throughout, before I even started hang out, hang out with her, a lot of people would be like, don't talk to that girl. She's, she will cause drama in your life. She's mixed up. So many people did not like her. And I was like, no, it's not that bad. Anyways, girl, it was so true. This girl used to talk about me with me. People start unnecessary beef that I didn't even know about. Like drama. People would come back and tell me. And I was like, what? I didn't even know this was happening. Like, it was so bad. So I had to stop talking to her. She was weird. Like, she was a weird though, And she was so fake. She was so fake. I could talk about this girl and all the weird things that she did. Oh my god. Like, I remember one time she asked me to hang out. And this is before I even had a car. And she lives in, like, the north end of Oshawa. So I left uni. I left classes at uni. And I went to her house and I was hanging out with her. And it was, like, at, a, like, a late time at this point. And she had the car. Like, she, had, she was driving her mom's car and her mom's car was home and stuff. And then, like, after us hanging out for a bit, she's like, oh, I'm tired. So you have to leave now. So I was like, what? Is that how you even talk to? Anyways, I was like, whatever, I'm going home anyways. Um, so she's like, oh, I'm tired. I'm like, okay, can you like drop me home? Like, you have a car, like, I have no way home, right? And I'm like, and you invited me out here knowing that like transit's not the best. We're all guys. I cut the link same speed because I was like, okay, if you're not gonna drop me home, at least drop me at the university so I can get like transportation back to my yard. This girl was like, no, like, I don't want to, I don't want to. Yeah, I was so mad that day that I left and I never talked back to her again. I don't like her. Like, even to this day, I tell people about her. I want to say her name, but I don't like her. This girl, she can go to hell, man. This black girl, too. Yeah, I don't like her. I was driving. I used to always invite her out. I used to drive and like, we used to go up places and I never would not ever leave any of my friends and be like, no, I'm too lazy. You go and take bus, even though you know you will live in the middle of the nowhere like she just doesn't care and once you I feel like she just doesn't care and since you don't care I don't want to be your friend again I want friends who are genuine who are fr have friendships out of love and will do things out of love not out of selfishness and kind friends kind <sighs> so those are like the few I have so much I even have like stories of like this girl she she tried like threatening to beat me up even though that wouldn't happen I was her boyfriend was following me on Instagram and I was following her him up, back on Instagram because I know him in real life I met him obviously I mean she was trying to fight me and stuff she's like I'll come to your house and beat you up I was like girl do you know you're done <laughs> I literally had to laugh off the whole situation I was like girl stop getting me like she made a whole group chat and she added so many people in it and yeah I wouldn't consider my friend I was kind of hanging out with her here and there beat you up I'm gonna beat you up and, uh, and then my, I was sending this to my friends them my friends were like, add me into this group chat so I can done this, yeah. Oh my god, I have to start taking on my makeup. So basically, what I'm trying to say is that I'm very selective now with my friendships and I don't play around with people, okay? And you may shouldn't too because a lot of people are a reflection of you. Oh my god, I didn't talk about this one. So this is this one girl that I had to stop being friends with because I did not know she was like this. And I didn't want people thinking I was the same just like her. So I was like, I had to cut the leg. I'm just going to sum it up. This girl was basically a hoe and I was just like... I remember one time, like, I asked her to follow me out to this event. This is when I was a photographer. And I was like, oh, do you want to go to this event together? And she was like, yeah, I'll come with you, da da da. Anyways, I ended up staying over her house for a week because the event was, like, near her area. So I was like, let me just stay and we can hang out at your house and whatever, right? And why she asked me to go hang out with her and some boys. And I was like, yeah, of course, whatever. We're not doing nothing today, so why not? Anyways, and then I went to go hang out with her and some boys. And then when the day came for the event, I was asking her, I was like, hey, like, let's get ready. And she's like, she's like, oh, I don't feel like going out anymore. My mom is sick. And, like, she just made all, all the excuses. When we went out to go hang out with those boys, her mom was sick, too. Okay, but, and then I cut the link. I was like, why would I want to be friends with you? You were so quick to leave her yard for mine. But when it comes to doing friend, friend stuff and you coming out to the event, you're now saying, oh, you're like, your mom is sick and you don't want to go anywhere. So I cut the link and, like, I found out she was, like, a hoe. Like, the guy, yeah, I just found out. And I was like, I, I am not one, so I'm not hanging out with you. And I'm not, like, downplaying anyone. And I'm not making anyone feel bad if they do, if they are one as well. Like, it's your life, but I'm just not going to be friends with you because it literally reflects back on you. People start thinking, maybe you do the same thing. 
date as well. So basically you guys have to treat your friendships like a relationship. You have to figure out what qualities you would like in a friend as you would in like a boyfriend or a girlfriend. And you're gonna have some good quality friendships once you realize that. Because I value kindness, I value honesty, I value very genuine friends, very blunt friends. Um, basically friends that are similar to me. I like people who are really nice. So now I have like a small group of friends, like can literally count them on my hand, that I like because of these qualities. And I'm also growing to get, going to get more friends because I'm an extrovert, guys. I love having friendships. So that's really it. You guys let me know down below what you guys think. How do you guys, how do you guys cope with having like minimal to no friends? Let me know in the comment section. Why am I acting like I have eyelash extensions on? I can literally take these off. Can you guys see how good this um, thing is? It took off all my makeup. Let me know down below. I hope you guys like this video and I'll literally